um, because Pozuelo has is able to find a pass with both feet. He's he's very clever the way he turns. Uh, Valeri is smart with his movements. Um, you know, on the ball, Pozuelo is, is, is very good to turn, um, you know, shift his weight and, and be able to find the, the final pass. So uh, a little bit different. Um, Pozuelo will probably have more assists than, than Valeri, but both, both are extremely, really, uh, extremely good players. Is it too early to say this is a statement win? Toronto's obviously undefeated. It's early in the season, but still a 3-2 shutout here at home. Is it a statement win at all? I don't think so. Um, you know, Next, I, th I do believe the next week will define us. Uh, we have three games coming up. We have LAFC a, uh, away, San Jose home, LAFC uh, uh, home. So three diff difficult, difficult games, and hopefully we can rotate the squad and, and be healthy and, and, and compete in all three games. But for me, uh, if, if you want to have a statement, it's going to be uh, that three three game week. And you got a tough schedule coming up ahead. You know, you just mentioned LAFC, Sporting Kansas City. This mid is playing, playing really well. You're creating a lot of chances yourself. Um, how do you just keep building on that and just, uh, you know, keep this on being run alive? Well, first, I think you have to defend well. Uh, when, you, when you're playing on, on the road against a, a really quality team, uh, against a, a Vela who is, is playing at his top form right now, uh, it's always going to be a difficult game, but uh, if you defend well, first first and foremost, you, you give yourself a chance to, to win a game. And then obviously, uh, take advantage of the opportunities that we get um, in front of gold. I thought um, there, there were a couple times that we could have gone 2-1 up earlier, earlier than we did. Um, so hopefully we can uh, take advantage of those opportunities given and and, uh, and and play a good game against you know three tough opponents. Okay, Christian. Tough opponents. I'm sorry to interrupt. Just a question in terms of how you're seeing the field. It looks like defensively you're looking at it and offensively. Are you at a point just given you know U.S. You've been playing for the team, the experience now that you can go up and down that field and see in a different way, offense and defense. I, I feel fitter than ever. Uh, number one, you know, it's tough to to play as a number eight and and be able to get crash the box. And, and also be tactical and, and, and play it safe at times uh, and also you know sit back but you know I feel fit and, and, I, and if I feel like I can come back and, and help the team both offensively and defensively make an impact um, on both ends you know I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best but uh, I've, I've gotten a little bit of free reign to, to bomb forward when when I see something so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick my moments and 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 obviously it, it really depends on on the team that we're facing but um, today I, I saw my moment and I, I want to take advantage of it and then you had that one where you got the goal but he made the save towards the end you almost beat the keeper is that part of the I don't say swagger but kind of the freedom that you're feeling self-expression you're feeling on there yeah a little bit and, and when I see space, I want to attack it, and, and I, I feel I'm more of a runner than a passer um, at, the, at, at the, that point with this team, with the with the guys on the ball, uh, Nico, Victor, uh, they, they'll find those passes. So when when they have the ball at their feet, I want to make a run. I want to I want to be the guy in the end. Uh, and, and Nico does a really good job of of seeing when I go up, um, he he'll cover me. So um, it's it's a good relationship, and hopefully we can keep building on it. You talk about your goal.